Hey guys, Ken's 97 still 171. Uh, been a while since I posted a video. Sorry about that, guys. Work's been crazy. And, uh, just really haven't had the time. Or it's been nighttime. And, uh, couldn't film. Look, this is gonna be just a basic drive. Um, in fact, it's going to be, I think, the same route that I took uh, on my uh, International Pro Star Series review. Um, I hope the video turns out okay. I'm trying my GoPro again. I guess I'll see how the audio sounds. It's been screwing up. Well, this may be a wasted effort. I don't know. Always a fun place to try to turn left out of. Sometimes you get right out, sometimes you don't. window here. You might be able to hear the turbo when I go through the tunnel here, although I have no idea. Both windows do that. They get about halfway up and they squeak. Oh man. It's been a long week. Might turn out to be a decent day to do some filming though, because, uh, you know, the sun's kind of a, not real bright and. camera doesn't like filming, uh, you know, you're in a dark room looking out a bright windshield and it, it has trouble with the white balance. Uh, it might be better today or, hell, it might be worse. I don't know. A message from YouTube uh, the other day saying that I had been uh, uh, I had been uh, I don't guess my account had been upgraded so that I could post longer videos. They didn't bother to say how long, <laughs> so, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep this to if I if I decide to go longer than just one nine minute segment or ten minute segment, I'll still break it up into multiples because I have no idea how long I can. Uh, post, and uh, I really don't have the time or the energy to be sticking the video into an editor and splitting it up. That's why I don't do a lot of editing on my videos. I know uh, a lot of guys out there, you know, they got really cool opening and endings and credits and stuff in the beginning of their videos, but quite frankly, I just, I'd love to make videos that look a lot better, but I just don't have the time, you know. I got, when I got free time, I got th other things I'd rather do, you know, and making the video is fun and I can just take the video and stick it right on the computer and just send it right up to YouTube and put some captions and quotes and 
things in it, but um, yeah, maybe help would be helpful if I could drive. And of course, they never turn on their turn signal to the last fucking second. flashers on here coming down that ramp and then I got an uphill pull I really can't do much better than about 45 miles an hour till I crest this hill up here um, got about 50,000 pounds in the trailer makes my gross about 77,000 maybe 78,000 Uh, makes her a little bit slow. Headed up to Rochester, Indiana. Blow this load off and then head home. It's about a four hour drive uh, each way. A little bit better than that. Um, Sometimes you can do it in three hours and 45 minutes, but hopefully I won't really, really shouldn't be hitting any rush hour traffic up or, or back, so that'll save me some time. this will be a little bit of a boring ride on the interstate. Um, I haven't figured out a way to do a video of me unloading the cargo. Um, first of all, a couple of places we go don't allow videoing, and uh, well, I probably wouldn't really care probably do it anyway. The problem is that you're standing out in plain sight for, you know, people to see as you, you know, there's people walking around, there's people driving around, and um, it would be pretty obvious. So, um, the other problem is that when the blower is on, and I'm blowing the load off, it is extremely loud. I mean, even with earplugs in, it's pretty loud. So, I would have to probably just block the audio off and either, you know, look at this moron in the neon. They both fucking go off the exit. People always go like three miles an hour through here. And yes, you need to go reasonably slow in a truck. You don't need to go freaking 45 miles an hour in a car. like these jack-offs. And then the problem is, now I'm going 50 freaking miles an hour and I gotta climb a hill. And then they speed up. Bunch of jerk-off idiots. And it's not just individual idiots. It must be a... It must be a... I don't know what it is, but everyone goes slow there. Happens on the Brent Spence Bridge going across from uh, Kentucky to, to Ohio and Cincinnati there. Everybody... A lot of people end up slowing down, and I think it's because it's a double-decker bridge, and a, I don't know, a little bit of claustrophobia or what it is, but people, I mean, people are going 45 freaking miles an hour across the bridge. The lanes are slightly narrow, but not really. Not really narrow enough to cause a problem. I think people just freak out because they feel like there's 
traffic all around them and there's a roof over their head too and they just freak out. And of course that backs traffic up all the way into Kentucky. On top of it, there's a couple of exits right on the other side of the bridge and you got a lot of morons that don't <laughs> don't really know what lane they need to be in even though they probably drive that route every freaking day. They wait to the last minute to get to the far right lane. To get off that exit. Hopefully this wind noise from this door here doesn't screw us up. It's a major defect in this truck. A lot of our trucks have this problem. Not a problem on that door. For whatever reason, it's only on this door. You get a strong wind and you can actually see daylight right through here. It actually pulls the door away. I think what it is is that the, uh, the, the wind on the mirror blows and then pull, pulls the door away. If you get outside and look, you can actually see that the door frame is pulled away from the truck, and on that side, it's pretty much flush with the truck. Um, I don't know whether the door is bent down here or what the hell the problem is, but... It's poorly engineered. When you open the door, too, when you open the door and push it against the stop, you can bend, you can actually bend the, the where the door is mounted to the chassis of the truck. You can you can actually move it, the sheet metal. This you know, it's pathetic. Yes, that noise was my... Oh, I'm already over 12 minutes. Shit. Well, I'll go to 15 minutes and then reset it. Hopefully that'll be the... Uh, what they allow. Well, I'll stop it now, and I'll restart it. See you guys in a second.